Good morning, everybody. What's going on with y'all today? Um, pray that all is well with y'all this morning. Um, just jumping on to um share a word with you all this morning. So, me and Bernard were in the car and we were talking. Um, just talking about different things and um. He brought up the story in the Bible in John chapter 9, um, verses 6 and 7, when um, Jesus put the mud on the blind blind man's eyes and told him to um, go to the pool and wash it off and, you know, then he'll be able to see. Um, and that made me, uh, think about so many things because we also know that, um, Hebrews 11 and 1 states that, um, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Now go back to the man, um, that Jesus put the mud on and told him to go to this pool. Okay. First of all, the man eyes was covered he was already blind and Jesus told him to go go to this pool and wash your face and you will be healed what I'm saying with that is when God tells us to go regardless of what we um see in front of us or what we don't see lack thereof we have to keep moving forward because he has already cleared the path. But if you're worried about what it's supposed to look like when you get there, you're going to miss it because you're going to be looking for it to look a certain way. But it might not look that way that you want it to look, but if he's telling you to go, you need to go. We have to get out of, <clears throat> we have to get out of, it has to be a certain way in order for me to do. It has to be um, a certain way in order for it to be successful. And my leaders, my bishop and my first lady, they say all the time, it's so many people that want to be, but don't want to do. And it's also so many people that want to have, but don't want to do. So, if you want these things from God, whatever it is that you're going to God about, whatever it is that you're seeking him for, if he's telling you to go, go. Um, Like I said before in numerous videos, I understand the spirit of doubt, and the spirit of fear. I understand those because I used to live in those. But in order to get beyond that doubt and that fear, you have to press. You have to press yourself forward. You have to move forward regardless of what it looks like to your eye or regardless of what you can't see but you think you need to see in order um, to be successful. So, with that being said, I say go. I say trust him. I say don't worry about what you see with your physical eye. Your spiritual eye is being led by God if you trust him um, and if you let him lead you. And again, I said before, faith ain't going to make sense all the time. Faith ain't going to look pretty all the time. But the end result is wonderful. And my husband also said something else when we were talking before. Like, there's two sides of faith. There's the good side, and then there's the affliction side. There's the side that, you know, you're going to be, you know, judged. You're going to be ridiculed. You're going to be all of that. Those things happen. Jesus went through those things. But we have to keep for we have to press towards the mark we have to keep trusting him and keep moving on those visions if he did not want you to go he wouldn't have told you to go 
He's not going to tell you to go somewhere where he's not going to provide for you. God does not put you in a situation where you won't get the best out of it. It's about you moving forward and trusting what God is showing you. Until the next video, y'all, I'll be blessed. Keep praising, keep fighting, keep worshiping, keep standing, keep smiling, and keep being unapologetically you.